All right, we are back with another Drive Across 65 Weekly MLB Power Rankings. Um, if you think you have the MLB figured out, sit down and watch for a week, especially this past week. Uh, as you know, flip it upside down. Uh, I'm going to say the 25 through 30 spots, there's going to be a ton of consistency. And the, uh, the top five spots, I'm going to say overall for the year, there's going to be consistency there. It's the middle parts, that middle 20 teams that you can kind of go back and forth with. Not this week. We have a ton of movement in the uh, power rankings this week. Let's dive into it. Coming in at number 30, dropping nine spots from last week, we have the Chicago Southside White Sox. Um, They're getting beat in every series that they're competing in. Not only are they getting beat, they just got swept in back-to-back series. Um, you have to, you have to give them a little bit. So they, they, they do have a tough schedule. Their, their schedule isn't hasn't been easy, um, but nevertheless, you're getting swept in back to back series. Today is April 26th. They haven't won a game since the 18th, and that was uh, a doubleheader game against a mediocre Phillies team. I don't know what's going on down there in the South Side, but they got to get it together. Um, Coming in at number 29, we have the Oakland A's. Uh, coming in at 28, we have the Royals. There's an argument you can make. You want to swap these two teams in and out. I'm not going to debate you much at all. Essentially the same team, different names. Uh, coming in at number 27, breaks my heart. The Rockies dropping eight spots, just getting swept by the Pirates. Uh, they're losing every series, but they're coming out scoring early, so they're great for the yes run first inning. We appreciate that. All in all, Rockies didn't have pitching coming into the season. We knew that, but we thought you would be able to hit the ball a little bit better. I was loving that 234 spot for you guys for a while, and it's just falling apart. Uh, Jumped in one spot from 27 last week to number 26. We have the Nationals. Up three spots uh, from 28 to 25. We have the Tigers. Uh, here's where it gets real interesting. I backed the uh, St. Louis Cardinals a ton last year. Uh, we got them dropping four spots uh, from number 20 to number 24. They got bullpen problems. They can't hit the ball. Uh, they're either going to put up 15 runs or two runs. Uh, there's no in between. I don't know what's going on in St. Louis. Um it's I want to back them every game. Every time I see that lineup and I see Goldschmidt and Hernando and Nuba, I'm like, man, this, let's bet them. And that just the the stats right now is just telling us we can't. Uh, staying at number 23, coming in at 23, the Miami Marlins. They're playing against the Braves right now. They're just they are what they are. They're the number 23 team. Um, Coming in at number 22, shout out to the San Francisco Giants. They won Sunday night baseball. They're getting hit. They're getting bit pretty tough by the injury bug. Uh, Keep an eye on that. See how long they can maintain um, the number 22 spot. Coming in at number 21, up four spots. Let's go. And this one belongs to the Reds. Um, Up four spots from last week. They swept the Rangers with an asterisk. Obviously, Corey Seager still hurt. Um, Rangers, I've been loving back in them and their their team totals. And they stayed hot um, even without Seager, but they're starting to cool off a little bit. Uh, breaking the top 20, we have the Phillies. Like we mentioned earlier, they swept the Rockies pretty strong. Um, coming in at number 19, back into the top 20, after sweeping the Braves, I still think that they're a bad team. We have the Astros. Uh, but shout out to them because they are the inspiration behind back in the Braves the other night. And we won that bet. Um, coming in number 18, the Brewers uh, dropping 12 spots for number six last week. Um, you can't lose a series to the Tigers. You just can't. You just can't. The Tigers are bad. Uh, coming in at number 17, uh, drop of five spots. The Mariners, they're just an even team right now. Um, that's just what they are. We'll see deeper into the season what they look like. I, I had a lot of respect for them early in the season. They're doing well right now. They're, they're just not. Uh, staying at 16, coming in at 16, 
the Angels, they're winning. They should be winning. They have a very soft schedule right now. They're in a really easy schedule. Everybody's getting reps right now. We'll see what comes of it. This one broke my heart, hurt my feelings. Uh, coming in at number 15, dropping eight spots, we have the Chicago Cubs. Uh, but with that being said, we have Samaya Lee uh, coming in as the Defensive Player of the Week. Now, we had, again, a crazy week. The week was insane. But we had Strider and Smiley both um, – pitching perfect games, no hitters, and both just got interrupted just by freak accidents. Insane. Um, you could give this one to Strider. The reason that I leaned Smiley is because it's it's just more difficult to do what he did against the Dodgers than it is the Marlins. The Marlins are just known, obviously, for, for not scoring runs, and, and that's what we've been winning money off of is betting their team total unders. Um, the Dodgers is just – it's definitely a bigger deal to do it against the Dodgers, but shout out to Strider too. Um, close second for defensive player of the week. Uh, up one spot from last week, number 14, we have the Padres. Um, and number 13, I want to respect this team. They're just, they're such a roller coaster right now. They're so young. They'll start earning more respect uh, next time around. But right now we have the Diamondbacks at number 13. I just can't figure them out. Um, Speaking of the Dodgers, number 12, uh, up five spots from last week. And uh, give a shout out and special praise to Max Muncy. Um, I, I wrote about five, ten jokes about balls and hitting and all that. He's a home run leader right now as of this conversation. And he just had a baby one on paternity leave. So insert every perverted. Uh, he's hitting it. Um, home run. Guys got balls. All that. Uh, shout out to Max Muncy, Offensive Player of the Week, and uh, congratulations on the newborn. Coming in at number 11, we have the Red Sox. Um, dropping two spots, but breaking the top 10 still. We have the Guardians. I don't love this pick for myself, but the way everything lined up, I got the Guardians in number 10. We're going to monitor that. They might drop if they don't start getting it together next week. Um I have the Orioles at number nine. They're a good team. They're kind of stat padding right now, just kind of like the Angels. They uh, they're playing the their their winning series against the Tigers. It looks good on paper. It's winning. It's a it's a win, but I don't I don't I don't really know how to gauge that team just yet. I got them at number nine. We'll see. Um, coming in at number eight, we have the Rangers. Like I said, getting beat up by the Reds like that. It probably could have dropped them more. Could have. I just don't know who I'm going to put in their spot. The Red Sox with Guardians, neither one of them. Uh, the longevity of the Rangers so far this season has been good, but we don't judge by the season. We judge by the week, and this week they're uh, up three spots from last week. We had the LGM Let's Go Mets coming in at number seven. This one's an exciting one, this one right here. Up 12 spots. The Buckos. Coming in at number six, the Pittsburgh Pirates. They're killing it right now. I absolutely love Connor Joe. If you've been following me for a while, follow my Twitter. I'm I'm a big Connor Joe guy. When he was with the Rockies last year, I was a big fan of him. Uh, makes me want to follow the Pirates and back them more. We have them going tonight. Coming in at number five, we have the Blue Jays. Uh, coming in at number three, number four. It's another situation where it's such a tight series. Uh, you can back these teams either way, and I won't have an argument for you. We have the Twins and the Yankees. I have the Twins at four, the Yankees at three, jumping on this week. Um, the Twins have everybody back. They're hitting the ball better. Let's see if that continues. Um, so that leaves two teams left, right? We have the Braves and we have the Rays. Obviously, Anywhere I put the Rays right now is a big jump from where I had them before. I was kind of, I wasn't giving them the fraudulent tag, but everybody had them huge in their power rankings, and I just I wasn't believing it. But following them more, I might have to give it to them. The Braves getting beat up by the Astros. We're going to put them into the number two spot. Uh, Rays have a uh, undefeated uh, home winning streak. I guess a winning streak, yeah. 
they're undefeated at home right now. Insane winning streak at home. They are a good team. You have to, you just have to give it to them. They're number one in the MLB power rankings this week. We'll see how that goes. We'll see if that adjusts. But right now, they're just they're cruising. Tropicana Field is just uh, a fortress for them right now. Shout out to them. That wraps us up. I appreciate everybody watching, liking, commenting, uh, sharing. Uh, picked up some new subscribers. I appreciate that, guys. Like it, share it, uh, comment. Tell me where I missed. Uh, if you're a national fan, tell them that they deserve to be higher than number whatever I got, 18 or 20. They're not good. Um, if you don't think the Twins are that good, I, I'm still back. If you don't think the Rangers are that good, let me know in the comments. Um, let's embrace the bait, guys. I appreciate everybody watching, listening. Follow me on Twitter. I'm giving out more sides on Twitter. We've been crushing it. Um, hashtag drive across 65. Pineapples don't go on pizza. That is a fact. Good luck, everybody.